Coppola. Rey Mysterio came out, his music came out, and then he came with not his son. I thought it was his son for like five seconds. Fan Kane Velasquez? Cain Velasquez. You're saying Velasquez. Kane Velasquez because you've probably been listening to a lot of Steve Austin. That's how Kane Velasquez. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I thought it was a little anticlimactic that he just kind of walked out with Rey Mysterio. Well, but I thought he yeah. would like come out and be like, you attacked me and my family this week. So here's my friend to help me, you know, or some shit like that. I just adopted Cain Velasquez. He's my new. No, I've. I He's gave my, my new son. No, this is Dominic. 2.0. What if they just. Man, what if. Just straight up, just say. Like, don't even call him Cain Velasquez. They just call him Dominic. He has been training for He's three been, days. For three days on the mountains. And this is my son, Dominic. <laughs> Uh, Kane Velasquez comes out and like immediately as soon as I saw takes the off leg, his shirt and well, well thing is like immediately immediately as soon as I saw that leg brace like that entire segment took me out of it like this man is not Tommaso Ciampa like as as far as presence oh. is concerned he can't make that work like Kane Velasquez is a guy whose MMA career is like riddled with injuries yeah and that like that leg brace was among the various things visually wrong with Kane Velasquez he comes I'm out. just telling him he should just take steroids he was the guy <laughs> he was the guy oh he came into my work one time I told you that. Kane came to your work? Yes. He took a picture with one of my coworkers. I wasn't there oh, at the time. That's nice. He seems like a nice guy. I have no idea. Uh, oh, he was at that, uh, wasn't he at that New Japan show that we were at? Yeah. Yeah. He was also training at Pro Wrestling Revolution in San Jose, California, mm -hmm. who trained him uh, for his wrestling career, and he was in wrestling. But what, what does this mean for Triple I mean, he's done with Triple A then, right? He has to be. I mean, like he's he was put in a WWE ring in one of their in their biggest show of the year. That deal is as good as done. Which would make sense why he was wearing a mask for the past. Uh, but he took it off. But uh, in the after show, in like the after, like no cameras were still rolling. Oh, Triple really? Mania took off that mask. I, I feel like well, I think that's the reason why the masks put on him. And so. Everybody knew who he was. I know, but still, like you wouldn't get that. He has picture. tattoos on his chest. You wouldn't get that picture of his full. Facial, like the recognition of his face. But right there. yeah, Gain Velasquez, he enters the ring, beats up Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar leaves. Brock's he, then retreating. He comes back in. When's the last time you seen Brock retreating? Again, the entire, like, the co entire caveat of this storyline stems from real life with Kane beating Brock in a real life fight. Like, while I don't think wrestling with the WWE fantasy camp level schedule that he's probably getting, and it yeah. won't take too much of a toll on his body, there could be other things that can. Like, he has that leg brace. I was like, man. That's just not a good visual. It's also a bit of a shame to see him in WWE this early into his wrestling career. Yeah. Like, I know he's 37. He has a wife and kids. But it's disappointing, like, to not see his skills grow going out into the indies and and Mexico, tightening the screws from an already stellar performance in Triple Mania this year. Well, you know, there was um, a scheduled show for Pro Wrestling Revolution happening this month where he was supposed to compete, but then he was pulled from the card. He's still going to do How the, convenient. He was still He's still going to do the meet and greet, apparently. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he's, yeah. I wonder why, yeah, you know. I wonder. 37. Kids, WWE money, Saudi money, hard to say no. Well, it's, it's you know, it's pretty easy to say no to Saudi money. Ah, uh, uh, you know. I don't know, man. Have you gotten a check written for you for like $1.5 million? Yeah, we could just make these, you know how much better we can make these podcasts? I just would stop making podcasts. <laughs> oh, come on. No, man. I would just, just me um, hanging out by the beach in LA across the street from the Staples Center at yeah. Hotel Figueroa. I yeah. love that fucking place. You gotta stay there sometime. 